In this video, we are going to see about the different types of addressing modes and we are going to see each addressing mode one by one. So some of the common addressing techniques are immediate addressing mode, direct, indirect, register, register, indirect, displacement, and start. We are going to see one by one. So another one is implied, immediate addressing. Okay, then implied addressing mode. So what is implied addressing mode? In this implied addressing mode, the accumulator is not explicitly mentioned. It is implicitly. Only the operator is there. The operand is implied. It is nothing but accumulator. So one of the operand is an accumulator and that will be implied. It will not be explicitly uh, come in the instruction. So the operand is hidden and the data to be operated is available in the instruction itself. Say so for example, CMA. If it is CMA, the meaning is complement the content of accumulator. So when you issue that, you, you didn't give CMA space A. Here, this three letter word is of course. This itself means complement the value present in the accumulator and store back the value in the accumulator. Okay, so explicitly operand is not given. The implied, uh, the accumulator is implied. Then RRC, rotate the accumulator right by one bit. Here, when you show RRC, it rotate the content of the accumulator right by one bit. There is no explicit, the accumulator is not explicitly given. The operand is not explicitly given. So when you issue RRC itself, it is the rotating of the accumulator. Same way, rotate left of the accumulator content. So the next one we are going to see is immediate addressing. Here, immediate addressing, as we have seen, uh, the data is present in the operand itself. One of the operand will be the data itself. So here, operand is actually present in the instruction itself. So for example, there will be no memory reference. The size of the number is restricted to the size of the address field. So for example, uh, when I say, when I say B, I, B, comma, 20 means this is comma, this is comma. The data is present in the instruction itself. So this is called immediate addressing. Uh, it can be indicated by some mode, which is nothing but I here, M, V, I. This, whenever there is an I in the instruction, we can find out it is about the immediate addressing. So if you say add 20 means in general, the value 20 is added with the accumulator. Okay, I, D, I. Let us say A, D, as I said, I indicate immediate addressing. A, D, I, 5 means add the content of accumulator with five. So after the execution of this statement, the five is added with the content of accumulator and the value is stored back in accumulator. That is the meaning of this instruction. So uh, the, uh, the data is given in the instruction itself. So it is said to be the immediate addressing. There is no memory reference, no register reference, nothing. The accumulator is, uh, called implied. Now, if you see this, the next one is direct addressing. Here, the effective address, A is something but effective address is A. It will be present in the uh, address field. So let us take, this is the address, uh, that is the injection format. This is opcode and this is operand. So now the address is, uh, it direct, it, it, uh, the, whatever the data are present here, it directly address the memory. So for example, add R1, comma, 4001, where you have to go to the memory location. It is similar to our add, let us, let me say, add, okay. 
add d comma two zero zero uh, sorry four zero zero one. So after the execution of this one, now it search for four zero zero one. Take that value and add the value, the content of b, and store back the value in b. But in general, here that is the meaning of this. In this address field, in this the address field consists of the effective address of the operand, requires only one memory reference and no special calculation. So, for example, add R one comma four zero zero one. Add four zero zero one is the effective address. So, it go to that particular memory location, take the data, and transfer it to R one. Example: load accumulator twenty fifty. Another example. LDA two zero five zero, which means low. The meaning of this is load the accumulator with what the data which is present in this memory location. This is a memory location, so this is a uh, three byte instruction because for this eight bit there is one byte and for this can this is a hexadecimal, so this is an eight byte uh, eight bit that is one byte and this is another one byte eight bit, so. One byte, one byte, one byte. So it is totally three byte instruction. It is okay. So now, after execution of the statement, we go and search in twenty. Suppose twenty fifty is somewhere here. Let us imagine twenty fifty is here. Then some data is there. After execution of the statement, the data present in that location will be transferred to accumulator. 